Hello, Leo. Welcome to your November 2021 Zodiac Horoscope Forecast. So, my name is Jade. I am the Violet Sage, and I'm a psychic medium, minister, um, Reiki master teacher, author, and I've been doing this for over 25 years. I incorporate what my guides tell me into these horoscope readings so that you get a little more out of them. I don't always go by what the cards tell me, and that makes it that much more helpful for you. And these are based on your sun sign, the one that you're born under, but your zodiac and astrology chart has many other aspects to highly consider, such as your rising and moon signs. And if you're born on a cusp, which is when your birth date lands on or is close to the end or beginning of another sign. So please remember these are general readings because of those facts. And for more accurate readings specifically for you, please contact me at the information below at the violet sage at AOL.com and put reading in the subject line. And that, so you can schedule a reading just for you. And that doesn't have just to be a zodiac reading or a horoscope reading. It could be any kind of reading. So um, I will be doing some quick readings today. Uh, in December, I will finally be able to slow down and do some better ones. Well, I'll be doing it at the end of November, probably. So it may not be till January that things finally really slow down. But anyway, we, we are telling you now, Leo, Leo, your birth date normally lands on July 23rd through August 22nd. But we do them based on the 13 zodiacs, which is in a fucus. And if a fucus is involved, that could switch up your birthday to land on August 10th between September 16th. So you may want to check out Virgo's horoscope as well. And um, if you have an, an astrology chart done, you can find out when your rising and moon signs are. And you may want to check out those as well, because sometimes your rising sign may resonate more with you at this time than any other sign. All right. So in stating all of that, let's see what we got going on here for Leo. All right. For Leo spirit, what does Leo need to know this month of November, 2021? What's going on in Leo, Leo's lives? What does Leo need to be paying attention to being alert to what's going on with Leo? I mean, I got these cards are wanting to jump all over the place active deck for you, Leo. There must be all kinds of stuff going on for you this month. Come on. Let's do it. Get them out there. Hmm. Now I got everything want to come out. Well, that's not good. Hmm. All right, Leo. This was reversed. It came out reversed. So I'm going to read it to you both ways because depending on where you are on your path and enlightenment, and decision making this could change things so the six of blades you see how they're walking on shaky ground right now they're not paying attention to the chances that they're taking so be please be careful of the choices you're making uh, make sure they're not hazardous to you or someone else if they are i don't know the chances are so good especially being this was reversed um so be really careful with risk taking right now. I'm not so sure this is the best month to be risk taking. I just keep getting the words choices, choices, choices. So I think it's going to be more about the choices you're making right now. So be careful. Um, I think things can change up on you at the drop of a hat right now. Choices. Make the choice that's going to stand out and be better no matter what right now. I don't think you're really good to make any interesting choices until maybe next year. And we have Goddess of Strength. All right. So I'm going to switch up a little bit of what I said here. Goddess of Strength, stand up for what you believe. You will gain respect by standing your ground. All right. So. Taking choices that can be hazardous are one thing, but making choices that can change your life for the better is what you need to do. So how do I want to put this? I'm going to give you, because they're giving me this example in my head, so I'm going to pass this along to you. Say if you're in a really bad relationship, staying there can be very hazardous to your health. And I mean, 
people who are saying relationships for children, you're not doing the child any favors because the child is learning that this is okay behavior. So don't do it for those reasons. I feel like being that that card was reversed, it's like not the normal you, you would think. So making choices that are good for your health and betterment is what you need to do. So standing up for what you believe, uh, gaining respect and that sort of thing. This is, these are the choices that you need to make that are better for you. Not to say not to make any movement at all. I'm saying make the right choice. All right. One more card here. I know my doggies are saying they got to go out. All right, spirit. What else does Leo need to know for this month of November, 2021? Oh, goodness all right so kind of like what i just said <laughs> we got the death card so the death card does not necessarily mean a death it means the death of a way of living or death of a way of thinking or being in the world could be the death of a relationship like i was saying it feels like something needs to end something needs to happen for your betterment you need to make the right choices all right so there's choices that need to be made. So don't grieve if something ends because it was supposed to for your betterment. This is what I am leaving for you. All right. Give me one second here. So <laughs> dogs are coming. I got to go to the bathroom. All right. So um, please join us every Sunday for your weekly forecast and live readings. It's 10 a.m. Central Time every Sunday. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribing is with the best gift that you can give to me. That and, and any donations, it helps to keep our stream up and going. I do have to pay for streaming. So uh, we do monthly drawings on our weekly forecast too. So if you join us on our weekly forecast, we do drawings. You win prizes, items, free readings. So join us every Sunday is when you uh, make a donation that you will get entered into the drawing. And um, please subscribe to see more of my broadcasts and forecasts. And if you can't uh, watch the Sunday forecast live, go ahead and watch it later because it's very informative. Everyone seems to really love it. It seems to hitting right home and right on with everyone. So please Make sure you do that. And please share, like, and subscribe. This really, really helps me out leaps and bounds. Really appreciate you tuning in and signing up. Much love and light to you all, and happy November. Make those right choices. Don't let it slip by. Namaste.